Hello, good morning, children. Hey, how have you been? You have been good? Okay. Anyway, today, last day, we have studied a half part of our desert animals, okay? Mm, same uh, introduction and uh, last ending also I have uh, taken here also. But this is uh, another part of. And uh, from uh, by today, we will finish the topic. And uh, tomorrow on, we, I mean, uh, by tomorrow, we will do the exercise part, okay? Okay, so let's move. Mm, yes, desert animals, okay, popping up. Then next, uh, mongooses. Last day we stopped by discussing mongooses. Okay, so mm, again continuation of mongooses. Mongooses are famous for being able to kill snakes without getting hurt. Okay, so we know that uh, the that, uh, enemy of the mongoose is, sorry, uh, snake is mongoose. And the uh, enemy of mongoose is always snake. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, not uh, that like that, okay, they always fight each other, okay, hmm? they, we can say that they are both strong enough, okay, uh, uh, equally strong, okay, <laughs> that's why, yes, uh, and uh, these mongoose, they can kill the snake by getting, uh, not getting hurt themselves, okay, hmm? without getting hurt their reactions are so fast, their reactions are so fast that they can dodge, dodge means attack, okay, dodge, uh, jump, uh, dodge, okay, each time and snake, uh, the snake strikes, okay, means, oh, not uh, attack, okay, they escape, dodge means escape, each time the snake attack, okay, so whenever, suppose that you know that how the snake attacks, like uh, it uh, moves like this and <coughs> like that, okay, at the same time, this mongoose, they can escape from there, okay, they can skip from that, hit okay strike of the snake uh, snake okay uh, they continually make a nuisance nuisance means that they make uh, that uh, snake to attack always okay uh, nuisance uh, they disturb the snake continuously okay of themselves until after a while until after a while when the snake gets tired till the snake get tired they always disturb the snake okay like scratching and all things okay so the snake again attack okay uh, like that okay so uh, later the get uh, snakes get tired okay at uh, that end what they do they quickly dive they quickly dive means a jump okay jump uh, in for the kill okay they quickly jump on the snake to kill okay all the female mongooses have their kitten at about the same time kitten this we can compare this uh, mongoose to the cat okay uh, looks similar then uh, this attack okay the cat also they don't get hurt um, easily from the snake okay they can uh, they also have the uh, feature to escape uh, from the um, uh, this uh, snake okay even if they hit a uh, little poison they uh, like uh, we can uh, see that they lick their uh, body okay so wh wherever the poison and uh, it all goes away okay like that hmm? so that's it okay so yes all the female mongoose have their kitten so uh, for the uh, cat babies we call kitten for the mongoose also babies we call kitten okay at uh, about the same time see all the female mongoose all the female mongoose have their kitten kitten means that babies same time okay same time just imagine all the mongoose uh, female mongoose are getting uh, the babies same time <laughs> how beautiful to imagine eh? okay then they are raised by the whole group in a den made inside an old termite mound or hollow log okay hmm? den means uh, that cave uh, that kind of uh, uh, that shelter okay so they all raise together raise means uh, they uh, grow 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 together means uh, from the childhood you grow huh? now you are in sixth standard like that they also grow they raise they raise means they grow they raise together okay so b means they born together so they raise together okay they don't uh, de 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 deviate okay they don't se get separated they together live okay then uh, in a ma made inside the old termite old termite means i'll show you the picture actually that uh, we you can see that the ant made with the uh, soil and uh, that uh, uh, heap like that uh, heap of soil like that you can see hmm? inside uh, you can find the ant like that hmm? in that okay after the ant uh, left from that okay that is uh, empty okay and so this old termite is the house of our mongoose okay they live together there okay they uh, born there together they live there together. otherwise hollow log hollow log means what you know that a piece of wood okay and it's decayed okay inside there is nothing okay inside 
we know that uh, outside it is uh, quite a uh, thick part okay uh, outer and inside uh, there is uh, like a uh, spongy uh, that kind of part and it gets decayed uh, slowly slowly and in that inside that okay so uh, that enemies cannot attack easily uh, when they are inside of this okay so they born uh, inside of this hollow lobe uh, mm, they born together they grow together okay mm, and uh, okay hollow lobe when most of the adults are out looking for food okay when most of the adults are okay uh, all of them go together okay they hunt together they born together the Uh, grow together okay and uh, so whenever they go for hunting okay the uh, adults I mean, adults means the grown up okay mm-hmm. uh, so uh, they go to, uh, together for hunting at uh, that time what <laughs> sorry at that time what uh, one or two female males one or two males so that's also male one or two males okay uh, rest of all go and what they do they stay behind to stand guard as a security okay huh? because there uh, that uh, kittens are uh, there inside that uh, uh, den okay so they have to take uh, uh, security okay they have to be the security otherwise so the uh, may be because they are babies kitten okay so any other like uh, that uh, hawk or kite uh, sorry uh, that eagle or any other um, animals like a tiger or something that uh, hyena uh, they can come and attack okay because they are babies they cannot uh, prevent okay they cannot uh, oppose so that's why two or three male they become the security for this okay they become the guard until others return for the night okay so when after they uh, went for uh, hunting okay they come back at night only till that time these three uh, two or three male mangoes those who take uh, those who become a guard of this they stay there only okay mm-hmm. then another animal okay so that much about mangoes now another animal another animal which lives okay in the desert is the camel i told you in the beginning that uh, the ship of sorry uh, yes ship of desert okay ship of desert okay so um, which is that camel camels were first domesticated by people many thousand of years ago okay many thousand of years ago in the wild camels usually live in small groups okay of how many mm, of 30 animals okay okay they have uh, the herd of 30 uh, 30 camels okay where in wild okay means in forest mm. yes a uh, group of 30 animals camels have long shaggy winter coats long shaggy winter coat okay shaggy means a kind of uh, i will show you okay what is shaggy okay mm, winter coat and keep warm uh, and shorter tidier coats shorter tidier 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 means arranged okay neatly arranged um, coats uh, for in the summer to keep cool okay okay so they have both coats okay shaggy winter coat and tidier uh short coat for keep them cool in the summer okay then a thirsty camel can drink as much as 30 gallons of water as much as 30 gallons of water 30 gallons means is the measurement uh, we don't know what is gallons we didn't uh, game uh, we didn't know about that okay now let's see that's about 500 full glasses that's about 500 full full glasses okay 30 gallons 30 gallons means uh, 500 full glasses that much water how much time in just 10 minutes my god in 10 minutes they drink this much water okay see a uh, thirsty camel a thirsty camel drink uh, 500 full glass of water in 10 minutes is it possible for us no it's impossible for us but a thirsty camel can do it see features different kind of features are given to different types of animals to survive in their particular area we have the features of legs and hands to walk to survive ourselves okay hmm? but they have their own features see last day, day i told you that the snakes they have venom venom means poison then mangoes how they attack hmm? uh, what are their features then uh, what else we told okay that uh, darkling beetle darkling beetle we told that they find the moisture from uh, they uh, that uh, take the moisture on their leg and they 
dive okay kick it okay they uh, just throw it in the air and till it gets in their mouth okay then another one mm, wolf wolf type of rat okay how they survive in the desert okay mm, then uh, <coughs> Mm. normally okay so uh, yes normally however it gets all the moisture it needs from desert plants and can survive for up to 10 months without drinking any water at all okay without drinking water uh, this animals can live how long 10 months 10 months without drinking water they can live okay and how they find this water from the moisture of the plants okay hmm? at that time they eat uh, the, this water uh, that uh, that mainly cactus cactus is their main food okay so and that uh, desert plants they eat and from there they find moisture to their uh, uh, body okay then next uh, ah see this is termite mound okay and see the mongooses are there okay banded mongoose oh see these are banded mongoose only yeah they are uh they are on the uh, termite mound only okay next uh, there are two different kinds of camel there are two different kinds of camel one known as the dromedary has only a single hump okay dromedary can uh, camel has only single hump hump means what this thing okay this is known as hump okay this uh, bulge uh, that uh, curved area that is known as hump okay okay so dromedary camel has only one hump and uh, this bactrian okay so which type of camel is this mm, the only single hump okay the other is called bactrian bactrian camel has two hump so this is bactrian camel okay this is bactrian camel and it has two hums okay mm, the hums help the animal to survive in the desert i told you the features huh? shaggy uh, winter coat and tiger uh, coat then uh, this is the hums okay hums which also help them to uh, survive in the desert okay how let's see okay mm, survive in the desert by acting as storage containers storage containers means something uh, storage container some kind of storage okay uh, which we used to store the things okay container means we used to store something okay here the water uh, they contain uh, they store in this hum like that we believe but that's not right okay that's wrong okay what we believed okay we believed till now that uh, the back uh, camel has uh, in the hump it is water full of water but that's wrong let's see what is that but they don't store water as many people wrongly believe they don't store water in the hump okay they are full of fat fat uh, okay fat means that we will get fat of uh, this uh, animals okay uh, whatever animal or uh, human being also if we take and we kill we will get the fat okay hmm? yes so uh, fat this fat nourishes the camels when food is scarce okay nourishes means uh, they use it they use this uh, uh, fat when they don't have food okay uh, 10 months they can live without food okay so at that time this uh, they take this fat from the hum okay and uh, they use it hmm. if they have nothing to eat for several days okay i told you then their hump string string means just come down okay so see that is bulge area hump okay and whenever they use this um, uh, this fat okay that uh, hump comes slow okay uh, small 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 okay that is known as stringing okay hmm? string as the fat is used up there are many other ways in which camel are adapted to desert life okay different no see how much features they have to survive in the desert see another one what is that their mouths are so tough their mouths are so tough how what, what about ours is that uh, tough uh, tongue it's not tough okay see uh, how tough it is okay even uh, sharp thorn thorn means what uh, that cactus has thorn okay that is spiky things okay yes that is thorn okay thorn cannot pierce through okay so that much tough it is okay then uh, that that's why they are eating uh, this cactus okay uh, if we go and take a spike okay what will happen uh, our tear and tongue or uh, that mouth uh, cheek uh, it get pierced th- through that okay but their mouth is that much tough okay it uh, won't get uh, pierced through their uh, cheek or it won't get pierced through their uh, tongue huh? 
okay that much tough it is okay see how much features they have to survive in the desert not only for uh, camels that mongoose okay then uh, snake i told you rat snake then beetle uh, that a uh, darkling beetle then uh, walrus hmm? see different types of animal has different types of features to survive in a particular area whether it is uh, winter season whether it is summer whether it is uh, like a hot area whether it is cold area whether it is in water also see fishes fish they have different types of features to survive there to they can move okay they have wings okay uh, scales hmm? scales uh, these th- things so to uh, get breathe okay uh, from the water okay scales hmm? see lots of the features elephant uh, it has a big body a uh, trunk it has trunk then uh, giraffe has long neck to uh, get the uh, leaves of the long trees okay uh, tall trees okay then uh, lots of things uh, lots of features mm, then yes kangaroo uh, for to keep their uh, reproduction like uh, their babies they have a bag in, uh, in front of them and they can hope okay <sighs> yes so these are i'm giving you some uh, extra uh, information types of deserts these are different types of deserts hot and dry deserts hot and dry deserts okay then semi arid uh, arid deserts then coastal deserts and um, cold deserts okay so this is uh, i think coastal desert okay then cold desert is there then hot and dry uh, desert semi arid desert this is uh, the semi arid the different deserts biome around the world okay so these are four types of desert which are the hot and dry desert semi arid desert coastal desert and cold desert okay now these are two types of uh, camels okay i am giving you uh, more information about both camels okay this is dromedary camel see one hum okay also called the arabian camel okay arabian camel we can find uh, more, uh, them mostly in this arab countries okay like uh, uae uh, qatar uh, kuwait uh, okay is a large even toed even toed angulator even toed angulator see this is even toed see uh, can you see this even toed this is single toed uh, toed okay single toe only one toe then this is two even then this is thrice uh, uh, three then this is four okay mm? so even toed even toed okay most uh, these camels are even toed only okay even toed uh, toed angulate okay then um, of the genus camelus of the genus uh, camelus with the hump with the one hump on its back with the one hump on its back it is the tallest of three species of camel three species are there we studied about two only okay one is dromedary cattle and one is uh, bactrian cattle, uh, camel and one more is there wild bactrian camel okay that is three species okay three species are there and this is the tallest one among these three species the species distinctive features include its long curved long long and curved neck okay narrow chest narrow chest means chest this part of chest okay so narrow chest uh, here this see this is chest okay uh, this part is chest okay then um, a single hump see single hump hmm? single hump long neck long and curved neck okay uh, compared with two on the bactrian camel and wild bactrian camel okay they have two and here uh, it has only one and long hairs on the throat long hairs on the throat it uh, does now long hairs okay i'll show you uh, some uh, that picture i didn't get okay anyway anyway long hairs it has okay for what to make it hot in the cool season okay winter season okay hmm? whether it is uh, very cool okay so uh, then uh, tidier coat cut tidier means uh, see arranged neatly okay hmm? for make it cool in the hot okay uh, long hairs on the throat shoulders and hump okay hmm? uh, it has no uh, hairs okay I, i didn't get that okay i actually whatever i get i just uh, put here okay to make you uh, give you the idea okay yes now dromedaries are mainly active during daylight hours okay they are mainly active okay they are active mainly when daylight hours they form herd of about 20 individuals okay they are not a single okay they are not a single they are they herd herd means a group okay so how many 20 individuals which are led by the dominant male okay dominant male okay which are led by dominant male 
വി പീപ്പിൾ ഓക്കെ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് ഓൾസോ മോസ്റ്റ്ലി ലെഡ് ബൈ ഡോമിനൻ മെയിൽ ഓൾറെഡി ഓക്കെ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ബാക്ടീരിയൻ ക്യാമൽ ക്യാമലസ് ബാക്ടീരിയ ബാക്ടീരിയാനസ് ബാക്ടീരിയാനസ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദയർ സയൻറ്റിഫിക് നെയിം ഓക്കെ ഓൾസോ നോൺ ഓഫ് ദ മംഗോളിയൻ ക്യാമൽ മംഗോളിയൻ ക്യാമൽ ഈസ് എ ലാർജ് ഈവൻറ്റ് ഓഡ് ദിസ് ഓൾസോ ലാർജ് ഈവൻറ്റ് ഓഡ് അംഗുലേറ്റ് നേറ്റീവ് ടു ദ സ്റ്റെപ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് സെൻട്രൽ ഏഷ്യ നേറ്റീവ് ടു ദ സ്റ്റെപ്പേഴ്സ് ഐ മീൻ സ്റ്റെപ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് സെൻട്രൽ ഏഷ്യ സെൻട്രൽ ഏഷ്യ വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഇൻ സെൻട്രൽ ഏഷ്യ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു ഹംസ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ്സ് ബാക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു ഹംസ് സി ടു ഹംസ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ്സ് ബാക്ക് സി ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഷാഗി ഹെയർ യാ ഷാഗി ഹെയർ ഈസ് ഇയർ സി ഓൺ ദ നെക്ക് ആൻഡ് ബോഡി ഓൾസോ ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ സി ഷാഗി ഹെയർ ദെൻ ടൈഡിയർ കോട്ട് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ടൈഡിയർ കോട്ട് അറേഞ്ച്ഡ് ഓക്കെ എനിവേ its population is steppers okay it has two humps okay then its population of 2 million exists mainly in the domesticated form okay how much it is a population its a population uh, 2 million its population is 2 million and more mainly most of them exist where in domesticated form okay means uh, they are domesticated animal camel uh, they are mostly domesticated animal whether domesticated or ഫെറൽ ഓക്കെ സോറി റീജൻ ഓക്കെ യെസ് ദർ നെയിം കംസ് ഫ്രം ദ ഏൻഷ്യൻറ്റ് ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ റീജൻ ബാക്ടീരിയ ഓക്കെ റീജൻ ബാക്ടീരിയ ഓക്കെ ബാക്ടീരിയൻ ക്യാമൽസ് വെതർ ഡൊമസ്റ്റിക്കേറ്റഡ് ഓർ ഫെറൽ ഫെറൽ മീൻസ് വൈൽഡ് ഓക്കെ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ആർ എ സെപ്പറേറ്റ് സ്പീഷ്യസ് ഫ്രം ദ വൈൽഡ് ബാക്ടീരിയൻ ക്യാമൽ ഓക്കെ ദർ സെപ്പറേറ്റ് സ്പീഷ്യസ് ഫ്രം വൈൽഡ് ബാക്ടീരിയൻ ക്യാമൽ ഐ ടോൾ യു ത്രീ സ്പീഷ്യസ് ആർ ദർ ഓക്കെ വിച്ച് ഈസ് ഓൺലി ട്രൂലി വൈൽഡ് സ്പീഷ്യസ് of camel in the world okay which one only truly wild animal which is that wild bacterian animal okay hmm? sorry camel so that much of this topic okay that much uh, all about this topic uh, so today we finished with our topic tomorrow we will do the exercise so uh, so many thanks for listening me um, for the topic yes so we will meet tomorrow with the exercise part till then bye bye have a great day